to the throne. Hey, God. Hey, God. Hey. They were meant to kill me. Hey, man. The Lord see. It looked like he was working. Hey, 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 God. I know when we left, he said, the folk crazy. 
If I can tell you one thing, they knew that we believe God in spite of. And just because God told fit not to save my child, he's still in the saving business. God, he's still in the saving somebody else. I dare to try God again.
worship and the word. And then we're every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. for our midweek connection. And then govern yourself accordingly. Amen. Say it's offering time. It's offering time. It's offering time. Time to light your load a little bit. Amen. Anybody come in here and full of money? You ain't gonna say that. You ain't gonna say that. <laughs> Amen. If by chance, if you left the house and you didn't have any cash, you're also able to contribute electronically to our cash app, which is dollar sign the way church. Sixty six hundred dollar sign the way church. Sixty six hundred. If you have problems with this, you want our ushers, they will gladly assist you with this. Amen. Have you all asked you to raise it in your right hand to begin to plot the blessing to it. Dear Lord God, my Heavenly Father, God, we ask you to bless the seed as well as the soul. Blessed are we doing it in obedience. God, bless it like you blessed the two fish in the pot of the little bread. Have the seed unlock doors that otherwise be shut. Have the this the, 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 the one that is given the offer heaven to be walking in favor all the days of the life. In the mighty man's name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. We're going to start with a full big statement first. The rest of the congregation will follow us to the back.
try to be good today. But I wonder, is there anybody here that can still feel the residue of the revival? Don't, 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 don't play with me now. I wonder, is there anybody here that can feel the residue of the power that fell on this week? In that 911 emergency. Hey, hallelujah. Glory to God. You know what happened? Some folks got delivered. Some folks got set free. Let's go. 
Share your Bibles with you. I want to go to two passages of Scripture. First Samuel chapter 30. Now I want to read from verses 1 through 8. First Samuel chapter 30. Verses 1 through 8. And Exodus chapter 22. And verses 1 through 4. Exodus chapter 22. Verses 1 through 4. Once you get those scriptures, or at least one of them, you will stand for the meaning of the word, custom in this house. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. First Samuel, chapter 30, and verse 1. And it came to pass. When David and his men were come to Ziglag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziglag and smitten Ziglag and burned it with fire yes. and had taken the women captive. That's what they're in. Yes. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burnt with fire. And their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captive. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. My God. And David's two wives were taken captive, for him and the Jezreelites, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, and he remained for his sons, for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. David said unto Abiathar the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray to bring me here the ephod. And Abiathar brought here the ephod to David. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this truth? Shall I overtake him? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover. All. And without fail, recover all. Exodus 22 and verse 1. If a man shall steal an ox or a sheep, kill it or sell it, he shall restore five oxen for an ox, and four sheep for a sheep. And if a thief be found breaking up and be smitten that he dies, there shall be no blood shed for him. The sun be risen upon him, there shall be no blood shed for him. For he should make full restitution. And if have nothing, there shall, then he shall be sold for his theft. And if the theft be certainly found in his hand alive, whether it be an ox or an ass or sheep, he shall restore double. I want to talk today for just a brief moment or two. The great recovery. The great recovery. My Savior, may we do no damage to your word. But speak that which is sound, which is right, which is true. Have your way in this place. We speak as the oracles of God. Let not your word return back, Lord, but let it accomplish that which you have set it out to do. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You may be seated in the presence of God. <laughs> Sometimes, 
you come up on a struggle that didn't even start with you. Sometimes, praise the Lord, you find yourself engaged in a battle. Hallelujah. And bless our God, it didn't come because of your sin, but it came because of an enemy. Yes. Hallelujah. This battle started, praise the Lord, with David's predecessor. Uh -huh. One of the first missions, praise the Lord, that God sent King Saul out when he established him to be king, says, I want you to go and destroy all of the Amalekites, smite them all, man, woman, chick, and child, take them out. Lord, I preach. I remember what they did to you when you came out of Egypt. Yes. How they fought you and wouldn't give you passage. Mm -hmm. So I need you to go and take them out. Hallelujah. Yeah. The Saul, praise the Lord, amen, was supposed to go and utterly destroy them. But what he did, praise the Lord, he destroyed that which looked bad and kept that which was good. Y'all don't like my talk. And any time God gives you a command to destroy everything and you leave it undone, it is a seed, to pray the Lord, that will come, amen, to fight against you in the future. Now David, praise the Lord, has been anointed since he was about a 17-year-old rooted boy yes. to become the king of Israel. Mm -hmm. God took him, praise the Lord, from a man the sheep coat, brought him, praise the Lord, before Saul. He ministered before him, playing his heart. Whenever an evil spirit, praise the Lord, would come upon Saul, Praise our God, uh, uh, David would begin to play a man of instrument and the evil spirit would come on out. Oh, y'all hear what I'm saying? David not only was a musician, but he was a man, a man of war. He was a skilled warrior. To the point where, praise the Lord, Saul made him his captain of hosts, praise the Lord. Everything was going good. He went out, praise the Lord, and made a great slaughter of the Philistines, praise the Lord. And when he came back into town, the folk, amen, was dancing and praising the Lord. Yes. And the women grabbed their tambourines and began to sing, praise the Lord, Saul have killed his thousands and David his tens of thousands. Uh, you better be careful when the women start singing your praise. Cause somebody gonna get jealous. Y'all don't like my talk. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. And amen. Saul began to listen to the lyrics of that song, and he didn't like it too good. Cause he, amen, said, "Wait a minute now. They have given me thousands, but they have ascribed to David tens of thousands. What more, Hallelujah, can he have than the kingdom?" And all of a sudden, the spirit of jealousy creeped up on Saul. From that day forward, praise the Lord, Saul's desire was to take David out. Amen. Praise the Lord, David is serving like he has always served. He did the right thing, praise God. Not at any time was he disrespectful to those that were in authority, but he was doing the right thing, and yet hell began to break loose in his a man private life. Praise God. What a man doesn't look like, praise the Lord. When, hallelujah, you look like you are publicly successful, amen, but in your private life you are struggling to keep your head above water, praise the Lord. Amen. His master, his father-in-law, wanted to kill him. You know, you got to be in a bad place when you come home for Thanksgiving, amen, to eat with your in-laws and your father-in-law take out a gun and try to shoot you, praise the Lord. 
how that this is what was going on with David. And he, praise the Lord, was forced, amen, to leave his home. And he was forced to leave his wife. He was driven out, praise our God, into the wilderness to live like a common criminal. But I want you to understand that when you are anointed to be on the top, amen, it doesn't matter if you find yourself in a pit because the pit cannot hide the glory of the destiny that is on your life. Doesn't matter if folk want to snuff you out and kill you, praise the Lord. The anointing that is on your life at some point is going to bring you to the forefront. So what you have to do, amen, is roll with the punches. Look at somebody say, just roll with the punches. Just roll with the punches. You got to be able, hallelujah, to keep the right attitude even, amen, when you're on the run, praise the Lord. I wish I could tell you that everything is going to work in your favor. I wish I could tell you that serving the Lord is a nice straight line, praise God, from one end to another. But I want you to know that there is some zigs and some zags and some curves and some hills and mountains, glory to God, valleys and, and rivers you got to cross. And you just got to roll with the punch. And so we come to this point got so bad that David had to take refuge with the enemy. He went over, praise the Lord, Lachish, praise the Lord, the Philistines. He knew that David was a mighty man. He said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you Ziglag. You can have Ziglag and you can take the cities of Ziglag and that's where you and your mighty men, amen, 600 men can stay, praise the Lord. And the Bible says, praise the Lord, that while they were away on expedition fighting one day, praise the Lord, amen, somebody from their past, amen, slipped into their present glory to God. Amen. The Bible says the Amalekites, amen, showed up in Ziglag. My God, they sacked the city. They burnt it with fire and took a man, his wives, took his children, took everybody's sons and daughters. They didn't kill anybody, but they took everybody alive, praise the Lord. Now, now, they're out here in king's business, and when they come back home, praise the Lord, home is jacked up. Have you ever been out doing what you're supposed to do, thinking everything is all right, and when you get back home, hell done broke out in your home? Y'all looking at me like you don't understand. Hallelujah. Sometimes you can be out saving everybody else. And when you get back home, your child done started acting crazy. Your child been slipping out the window, praise the Lord. You're trying to, amen, be a deliverer, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then fire, amen, is breaking out in your home. And he got back to the city land. And everything was gone. And the Bible says, they begin to cry and to weep. And the Bible says they cried until there was no more power left in them to cry. Yes. Have you cried until your tear ducts have just run dry? There's nothing else left. Then you'd have to drink a bottle of water to get more tears out. They cried. Amen. They wept until there was no more power in them two weeks, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you today, it's all right to cry. When you lose something that is important, it's all right to cry. Amen, brother. Don't act like you got to be tough for everybody. Right. Why folk, amen, lose their mind, yes. praise God. Trying to be tough for other folk. I don't care what you think about me. Yes. If I'm going through, I'm going to cry, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus wept, praise God. Who could have been more man than Jesus was? Hallelujah. You lose something that is precious to you. Water going to come out your eye. We need to get rid of this He-Man, Superman mentality. Praise God. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. Talking about I can't cry because I'm struggling. Amen. I'm a real man. And really, if you cry, you a punk. No, 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 no. If you don't cry, you're going to be acting like a punk out the wild. Amen. Because that pressure has to relieve itself some kind of way. And some of you sitting up here going through trouble and won't relieve no stress. Your mind is about to go snap, crackle, and pop. God gave you those tear ducts, amen. God gave you those emotions to release them, amen, so that you can get strength. Amen. Yes. When somebody dies, that's right. That's right. That's right. I'm strong. Everybody got to be well, Hold up. Let me cry. Let me fall out. Let me kick and scream yes. first. And then I'll be strong enough to help you. Amen. Here I am about buckling under the brush and I'm trying to keep my mind. I got to hold you. No, 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 no. Let me get myself 
myself straight first, and then I'll come and strengthen you. Our problem is break out. We're trying to be strong for other folks, and they're not even trying to be strong for themselves. Father said they cried until praying the Lord. There was no more power left in them to cry. And then David got another surprise. They looked at him, Elder Lewis, and said, you know what we're going to do to you? We're going to stone you. Yes. Mind you, David didn't ask none of them jokers to follow him. David didn't ask, I didn't tell you to come follow me. I was everyone that was in debt, everyone prayed the Lord that was displeased, everyone prayed God that had some trouble, they decided to follow David, praise God. Hallelujah. But you following me, praise God. And then I found out, praise God, you have a man, son and farewell of a man followers. People that will follow you when you look like you're winning. Amen. You see, praise the Lord, it, you, you can always have a crowd when it looks like you're winning. You don't judge your crowd by how it looks when you're winning. You judge your crowd by what it looks like when you're failing, praise God. Brothers, you don't want a woman, praise God, that shows up at the end of the story, praise the Lord. How and now all of a sudden she's a good wife. Amen. You were my wife when I was struggling, praise God. You were my wife when I didn't have a man a pop or a window to throw it out of, praise God. And so now I can judge the integrity of who you are by, by, by the fact that you stuck with me when I was in my struggle, when I was on the run, praise the Lord. How do y'all folk that will not show up until the end of the story? And so these guys, praise the Lord, haven't followed David because they were hurt, praise God, because they were emotionally, amen, ripped apart. They said, I'm going to stone you. So now he's doubly hurt. He's hurt, praise the Lord, because his family is gone. And he's hurt because his men have lost. When you go through struggle and trial, it's all right to cry. It's all right to relieve some pressure. But don't stay there too long. Oh, glory to God. It's all right, amen, to have to wipe the tears and hold on to somebody. And you just cry buckets of water together. Do that, praise God. Console one another. Deal with it, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, because it is a, a great trouble. But don't stay there too long. Hallelujah, because, praise the Lord, you think through your tears that you have lost all of your hopes and all of your dreams. But the enemy has not taken everything, praise the Lord. The enemy has not killed it or destroyed it. He just stole it from you. Hallelujah. And if you just look at your situation and cry over your situation, you're wasting time and opportunity to go back, amen, and get, praise the Lord, what God has for you. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, praise the Lord, while he is distressed, the Bible says he encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Amen. This is for my mature saints, praise the Lord. Those of you that have been through, praise the Lord, don't you know that sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Don't you know sometimes you got to get your own song in the midnight. I don't have an organ with me. I don't have a drum. I don't have a praise team or a choir. But sometimes, amen, in the midnight hour when I'm struggling, amen, to go to sleep because of what I'm going through, I got to sing to myself, I know the Lord will fix it for me. Because if I hold to it Praise the Lord. Sometimes, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By yourself, brother, riding down the road. Amen. In the truck, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tears coming down your eyes. Sometimes you've got to find a song and encourage yourself. And say, I know that I can make it. Hallelujah. I know that I can stand. You can't find nobody to encourage you. Hallelujah. There are some places you get you are by yourself. And the Bible said that David encouraged him. In the Lord, he had to get some strength. Amen. Why? Why? He said, Because I'm getting 
ready to go to the king. I'm getting ready to go to God about my situation. I can't show up, amen, at the throne of grace with no joy in my heart. I can't show up, amen, in prayer with no faith, praise God. So I got to begin to stir my own self up. Some of you don't understand the reason why I'm getting ready to give you a secret, praise the Lord. The reason why you go to God about things and it don't work out, you go to him white out. Praise the Lord. But you got to go to him encourage, praise the Lord. And he's given you the wherewithal to encourage yourself. Sometimes you got to just stay there, hallelujah, until you feel the joy moving on the inside. I heard the old saints say, sometimes you got to pray through, praise God. You got to pray, amen, until you can feel God moving on the inside for yourself. The Bible said that he encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Encouraging myself. What am I saying? I might be going through, but I know the Lord can bring me this far to leave me. But I know the Lord is on my side, and I'm not going to feel what man can do unto me. I'm going to encourage myself. But sometimes you got to shout when you don't even feel like dancing. Sometimes you got to wave your hand when you don't even feel a reason to wave your hand. Sometimes you got to smile. Despite of the hell that is in your heart. I'm not smiling for you. I'm smiling for me. I'm not happy because I'm trying to make you happy. There comes a time when I got to get past trying to make you happy. I mean, I got to make sure that I'm happy. Pray the Lord. I can't get no help up in here. And the Bible says he encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And the moment that he encouraged himself, he called for Abiyah for the priest. And he said, I want you to bring the linen in. Hallelujah. In other words, usually it's the priest that wore the ephod. The ephod, praise the Lord, was a type of a coat that contained 12 stones on it. Hallelujah. The Urim and the Thummim, praise the Lord. And these 12 stones represented the 12 tribes of Israel. Amen. And whenever they needed an answer from God, amen, they would call on God with the ephod. And the light somehow would shine through it. And the way the light shined through it would give them, amen, an understanding of what they needed to do. But usually it was the high priest that was wearing the ephod. But David was such a praiser, he didn't wait for the preacher to get straight. He got the ephod himself. But the preacher ain't got no faith. Baby, I'm going to have some faith for myself. Oh, y'all don't like my talk up in here. Some of you wait till you get to church to praise God. You better have a praise in your house. Amen. Before you even get to the house of prayer. When I get here, I ain't trying to find no joy. I'm adding joy already to the pot. Because when I woke up this morning, I didn't have no doubt. I knew God was going to bring me out. Come my God, how do you make it? How do you pull me out of my funk? You know that's what folk do sometimes. They jacked up and they want you to come to church and they want the preacher and the praise and the saint to perform and then to pull them out of their funk. But when you find somebody that know God for themselves, I don't have to wait for you to get happy. I don't need you to give me permission to shout. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. Baby, I shot by myself. I sing by myself. If you mess with me, I'll sing it. You all don't hear what I say. That's us. That's us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He says, go get me these. He inquires of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Ask the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm done crying about it. Yeah. Amen. I've done, amen, spilled my emotions. Yeah, right. Amen. Now, after I cry, what am I going to do about it? Yeah, right. Amen. The devil done come in and stole my stuff. Uh -huh. What am I going to do about it? And that's what some of y'all ain't praise God. The devil done come in and messed up some stuff. What you going to do about it? Yeah. Hallelujah to God. It's enough to talk about it. It's enough to cry and weep and moan about it. But what are you going to do about it? Praise yeah. God. Has it provoked you to a place of prayer? Has it provoked 
brought you to a place, amen, of seeking God, amen, on another level. Praise God. Amen. When the enemy came in, great Lord, and began to fight, amen. Hallelujah with my family, praise the Lord. Hallelujah last Sunday. Hallelujah, y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. I don't know what the enemy thought that he was doing. He thought that maybe he was going to tear it down. He thought maybe the way church, amen, would just shut down. But look like he provoked something. Oh, God. Hallelujah. I'm okay. Amen. You can talk about this. Amen. You can mind God mess with some things. But when you start messing with my people, you're messing with me. And don't you back me in a corner.
the thief mm -hmm. steals an ox. Yes. Uh -huh. He's got to replace it back for yeah. for every one that he took. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Hallelujah. And and everything else. Hallelujah that he took. See, hallelujah. He's got to replace some five and then get to a place he got to give you double for your trouble. Yeah. So basically, what I'm reading in the law uh -huh. is that if something is taken from me in order to bring me to a place of restoration, right. Sister Adrena, I'm not just going to get back what he gave me. Yeah. Hallelujah. But I'm going to get it back with some interest. Yeah. Hallelujah. In other words, you ain't going to just mess me over and just give it back what you took from me. I had some pain and suffering. I had some mental anguish. Hallelujah. I had some suicidal thoughts. Hallelujah. I had some days I didn't feel like getting out of the bed. In fact, I've been hurt so bad. I don't even want the thing that you took back. You got to pay me. Hallelujah for my suffering. I'm the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah, he said he's going to have to give it back to you. A man with interest. I come to tell somebody, it's getting ready to hit you. But it's getting ready to hit you with interest. Hallelujah, y'all don't like no talk up in here. Hallelujah, he's getting ready to come off. But interest is about to hit your life. But everything that you lost, you're going to have more than you had.
Israel come moving. I feel the spirit of recovery. I look around. Look at everything that the enemy tried to touch. God is about to restore. How are you trying to take your jaw?
you saw me. You might act like you didn't see me, but you saw me. So guess what? You're going to see me when God raised me up. You're going to see me when God gives me back. There's a king that I was talking to.
you can't be, can't be so structured to where God can't move. Because you got folk in here that need that deliverance.
is for winners. Yeah. Yeah. Only winners dance. Yeah. And so the fact that you're dancing shows me that you are a winner. Yeah. And you know, that that's something that I call the winner's circle. Yeah. I wish I had a few people that would come in the winner's circle and dance because you know you're a winner. I need y'all to help my dance.
Is that all right? Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. To all of my watchers, amen, from Facebook, we love you. Yes. With the love of the Lord, may God bless you until we see you again in Jesus' name. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name.